Welcome back to part six of switching from Intel to Silicon with the help of Sonitech. And if you hadn't seen my other videos, uh, basically I'd come from a 5.1 Mac Intel um, and I needed the latest Atmos things that Ventura allowed you to have. So um, I needed to make the switch to M1. Um, and with all my legacy equipment, um, without the help of these docks, it would be pretty much impossible. So I made a previous video on the Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock. Um, this is great. Um, currently it has my legacy USB hub, which has got my iLox keyboard. It also has a USB to HDMI adapter for my second display output over there. Um, it also connects to the, my Ethernet and also to this um, USB hub I have on the bench here, which is really handy for when I want to get out my uh, microscope or what have you. And on top of all that, it's also powering this iPad that I have here on the bench as well. And having a really accessible SD card slot on the front so I can easily um, record stuff and get it into the com computer. Um, if you want a USB stick, you can stick that in there, which is cool. Let's say you have a couple of um, old SSDs. Well, say you needed to charge your AirPods. You can charge your AirPods. And if you really want to, you can even plug your phone in for files transfers. And it's even charging the phone. So, so, so much you can do with this stuff. It's uh, really quite incredible. But this video is really dedicated to the um, NVMe Thunderbolt dock. Um, so inside here, I have two NVMe drives. Each of them is two terabytes, giving me four terabytes in total. But each stick, I have made a 500 gig partition and a 1.5 terabyte partition. So the laptop is 500 gig. And then I have a 500 gig partition on each of the two NVMe drives. So the idea is, is that I'm using a program called SuperDuper to clone this hard drive on the laptop to uh, one of the 500 gig partitions on here. And when I'm at home in the studio, I am actually booting from the uh, Sonitech NVMe drive. Um, and that way I'm not wearing out the hard drive built into the computer and also I then have multiple backups of my operating system because there'll be one on the laptop and then one on each of the NVMe drives in the Echo Dual NVMe Thunderbolt dock. So that's quite a lot to get through but I'm um, sure you can see the importance of being able to back up the operating system because if anything happened to the laptop um, then I could just replace it with a Mac Mini um, plug into the docks and then you're straight off again uh, no problem at all so if any of that interests you and you want to see how I did it then um, carry on watching the video this is the Echo Dual NVMe Thunderbolt dock which is uh, quite an amazing bit of kit um, Anyway, the first point of order is to install some drives, as that is, is his main job in life. So I have my anti-static wristband here because I don't want to mess anything up. This is connected to my ground earth. And excuse the noise in the background. Those motorbikes are quite crazy. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Compact and beige, as they say. So we'll take the mounts off. And hopefully, I have bought the correct ones.
Okay, and doesn't that look good? So, four terabytes in there. There is a fan, so it'll be interesting to see um, how loud that is. It's kind of one of the reasons why I bought the heat sinked versions. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, let's launch the disk utility monitor and see if, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. It sees them both. We might as well just erase them quickly. Um, I'll leave the video running in real time so you can see how fast it takes to erase a two terabyte drive. Okay, let's go. So I'll call this one A, and I'll call the other one B, and then we can keep track of everything. There we go. And we'll do the same to the second drive. And call this B. Then we should be easily be able to keep track of what's going on. There we go. So my plan is to do a first of all a time machine backup. And to do that we're gonna to have to create a partition on each of these drives. So, um, my inbuilt drive on the MacBook, if we just check that out, is it's a 500 gig, gig drive and it's 100 gig free. So, I think 500 gig for a system for me is really good. So, we're going to add a partition. And I want to do that rather than make a volume because I want to keep them completely separate. So we should make this partition 500 gig. Okay, and then I guess we do the same to the other drive. That was the B drive we just did. And there's 500 gig there. So now we'll do the same to this one. Because the first thing I want to do is a time machine backup. I'm going to do the time machine backup to the B drive. And then the idea is that we're going to do a fresh install of an OS on the A drive and do a time machine backup from the B drive. And then we should be able to boot back into um, the NVMe drive. So now I can finally get all this stuff off my desktop onto the external drive. And you can see, it's pretty quick. And now I can delete all my last projects from this internal drive on the MacBook. Empty the bin. And I'm also going to just copy over everything from my downloads folder onto the um, NVMe drives. Just so that when we do the time machine backup, I don't have to back up this whole download folder. So it's 31 gigabytes. 
And it's going to take less than a minute. And again, I'll leave this in real time so you can see the real life use of it. Great, now I can delete everything in the downloads folder. And now we can start a time machine backup. So I'm going to do this onto the B disk. And I don't want to encrypt it. Okay, so all the discs are set to 500 gigs, so uh, let's start the backup, and I'll uh, see you on the other side. Okay, so before we uh, actually do this install um, bootable, um, I've got a couple of SSDs here, which are from my old 5.1 computer. So... Uh, we have a couple of extra ports on this dock, so let's see what happens. Uh, this is a 500 gig SSD. Look at that, that just shows up beautifully. And this is a 2 terabyte one, which has got a few partitions on it. And there we go, that's now looking more like the computer I used to know. So... That is great news. Now I feel like I'm not going to run out of storage too quickly. So I went through the whole process of creating a brand new Ventura install um, and then updating with the Time Machine backup. But to be honest with you, um, a lot of stuff didn't work. My sound card wasn't seen. Pro Tools said it was corrupted. Um, so I decided to look for a different way of doing it. And um, a friend of mine recommended a program called Super Duper. So, so I downloaded it, and it's um, you can use it for free. Although I think I'm going to have use for it in the future because it'd be nice to actually have um, keep all my backups concurrent to what the current version. So rather than using Time Machine uh, to align backups, I'll have actually images. So one on the laptop and an image on each of the two terabyte drives where I made the 500 gig partition. Okay, so this is says it's made it correctly. I think I'm going to buy this because uh, it will be useful in the future. And if we can just check, you see, just to prove that we are booted into this drive on the NVMe. And, miraculously, my sound card appears fine. And as an added extra bonus, my uh, lightning cable for my phone, I can just now plug into the front here, which is really easy. And that enables me to use the image capture app on the Mac, which is by far the quickest way to transfer files on the phone, because it's over the cable. So that's awesome. So I've tried really hard not to cross the streams. So on this side, we have um, this Thunderbolt connection going to the Echo SE1, which is holding my sound card. The um, USB hub there is connected to the dock. The other two Thunderbolt ports on the Mac, one to the NVMe, one to the Echo 11. And so far, everything has been working absolutely fantastically. And I have to give a massive thank you to Yolanda from Sonatech and Holden, their distributors, for making my dreams come true. Catch you next time.